They good. Getting fat. Getting big. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Marquez, what was your, your main focus this offseason after getting a lot of time to play last year? What, what did you want to kind of get better at, hone in on? Uh, really, the biggest thing was health. Uh, I had thumb surgery this offseason, so just trying to get that back right. And that was really the biggest focus. Can't do anything without you know my hands. So that was really the biggest thing. Is that like some, something that happened like toward the end of the year or something you had to play through last year? Uh, towards the end of the season. Yeah. So I um, waited till after the season, get it done, and was good and ready in time for, before everything started up. Marcus, how different is this camp for you compared to last year if that's what I received in um, Quez. And um, it's, I, don't, I don't think it's really different, you know? We got new additions. We got, like every year, you know, new guys come in. We got a lot of new familiar faces coming in. We got a lot of people coming back from injury. And I just think it's helping all of us, you know, um, whether they're older or younger, like rookies coming in. I think we still hold each other to the accountability that we've been in the past. And we just work and make each other better. What do you see from James just kind of like a, from a, like a leadership standpoint? Is he, is he any different this year, just kind of knowing that the job's his? Like, just, just how's that been? Uh, everybody knows Jameis' work ethic. If you don't, then you do your homework because Jameis is one of the hardest working people I know, and he expects the same out of all of us. Whether we just ran a go ball, coming back, you expect the same energy, same, expects the same uh, passion that he has, and that's what he brings. Other than his leadership, that's what he brings, energy and passion. I know uh, Mike said it a couple days ago, but, I mean, it's true. If you know him, been around him, you can, that's the first thing you notice about him, and that's what I love about him. Everybody kind of calls him like the hardest worker mm -hmm. that they've known. Like, what are some of the things that you've seen that kind of form that opinion for you? Have you not seen his workouts? Yeah. <laughs> his workouts are alone by far the best slash worst I've ever seen. Because <laughs> I don't think, y'all, uh, mm. ask Trey Clown about it. He, he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Say the little full noodle and like running around. Like, Everything, yeah. whether it's on <laughs> land or in the water, he's going to get the work in. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried to replicate any of I have not. Now? I'm not even going to try it. Mm -mm. <laughs> How much have, uh, have you picked the brains of just Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry? Two veterans who have done enough in this league and proven themselves. Have you gotten to really kind of see how they've gone about their business when they're getting ready or just playing the position? Have you done that a lot? Mm -hmm. uh, quiz, again. <laughs> Sorry, quiz. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, everybody know who Michael and um, Jarvis are, you know. they two well-known players in the league. They establish themselves. They're vets. They know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. It will be crazy and stupid for me if I'm not in their ear trying, not just me, all of them, you know, not trying to work up and listen to anything they got to say, whether it's a good rep or bad rep, you know, hearing what they got to say, hearing what they think, what they would have done, how we would done. It's just, like I said, we all here for each other and those two guys who are going to help us, you know, but like you said, we got to take it upon ourselves to go ask. We got to take it upon ourselves to seek out the information. We can't let our ego cloud our judgment. We can't let our ego, you know, keep us from getting better because that's what's going to help us, each other. Marquez. Trailing off of that, how would you describe the competition you're seeing um, or just experiencing within the receiver court? Because there's, you know, there's a big depth there. Right. Um, every day, you know, like I said, we, we're all out there to help each other. Every day we can learn something from each other, whereas Cody bringing in new drills, whether it's DJ, you know, helping us out with questions, you know, he's the brains of everything. So, and like you said, us competing against each other, we're not just going out there and let's say I do a rep and I'm keeping everything myself. If someone asks or someone asks, yo, how do you do this? You know, we're taking the time helping each other. We're knowing we're competing. We're knowing we're out there, you know, um, having fun, um, battling, but we're also there for each other. So that's the biggest thing. How has it been working with Cody Burns so far? Uh, it's been nice, you know, it's different. You know, every coach brings something new and just bring what he, putting in what he's bringing to us and just adding it to what we already know or already had is what, what we're supposed to do, you know. He's bringing new energy, he's bringing a new feel of things, and we're just taking it and going in stride with it. You kind of mentioned drills that he brings in. Is he bringing in something unique or different than what y'all experienced last year? Well, every coach is different. Uh, CJ had his ways, Cody has his ways, and we just 
we already know what CJ taught us, so we're still using CJ ways. And Cody, like I say, he's bringing in new things. We're just using his ways as well. So mix it up. You, uh, you were part of the like three day camp that Jameis had, right? I yeah. was. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> what, 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 what did you like about that experience? Like, how did he bring it together? And you have a little bit of your impression of him doing it. Well, everything was nice. You know, it was Miami, so you know. That was the best thing about it. Um, he told us he was like, if he would have went to like Alabama, like not knocking Alabama, but he would have went to like somewhere like Alabama where there's nothing out there. He said then we, he don't think we would have had the same show out. So he thinks Miami the one that brought everybody together. But yeah, James is a man of schedule. So we was on a schedule. We woke up, ate breakfast, you know, film, uh, gym, uh, weight room, uh, field. You know, everything was structured. And that's what I like. He he's a man who has a plan. And we woke up the first day killed us, I ain't gonna lie. It killed us. We was up at like seven to eight for breakfast and didn't get done to about about eight or nine. So but we had a break in I like camp now, but uh, he's a man who had everything planned out. He took care of everything, so he did all we had to do was get there and he had everything else under control. He's any of that, I mean, that all in line with what you've already known about him as a leader, but it's something different about this year and, and like sort of, I mean, last year was in a position battle and this year right. he's sort of the guy. Right. Well, I think he's just wanted to connect us, get closer to us, you know, have us together, like kind of how we are with Kemp, but have the offense, just the offense together. So I think that's another thing I like. He's trying, he's trying to make everybody come together and like when we were going out there in Miami, I think that did bring us a little closer together. He talked about that specific part in previous years, he'd bring about four or five whatever guys, and now he's making an emphasis mm -hmm. back in Miami to bring all you guys, which are all on the same page. How are you seeing that leadership progress from maybe a year or so ago to what he just showed in the season? Well, like you say, it's showing. Like, he's absolutely trying. He's doing what he can. Like you said, he told us in the group message, he said, you know, just get out there. Everything's taken care of. And I think if we would have paid for ourselves, I doubt we, a lot of people would have went. So um, you could definitely tell he's trying. Like you said, now that he's already, like, in a position, you know, getting his knee back right, I think he's really trying to take that step forward, showing that he's the one, he's the guy, and we got his back, and that's what he wants us to know. What do you pay for you before? He better. <laughs> <laughs> he better. Mark, was it you, are you installing in this portion of camp in just one position, or how are you doing it? Oh, um, they move out? us around all the time, but yeah. really everybody has their set position, and it's just matchups. Wherever we see a matchup, whether it's our defense, because our defense, I feel like, is one of the best ones we can play play against every day at practice. So whether it's X, Y, L, C, whichever is the best matchup, whichever we can get the ball. X is sort of where you started from, right? right the right. most, but now with so much depth, I, I assume the ability to play all three is key for you and, and anyone. Key for everybody, really. Get on the field, like you said. Yeah, the more you know, the better. And you feel good about all. Like you felt good about all three for a while. Or is that something that every year you learn different? Right. Every year you try to learn even more, and that's what I think I can improve on. Like learning more, and that I have now that, like you said, we can pick on a lot of guys, but the playbook's still the same. So it's year three, so the playbook's still the same, and just get better knowledge of that. Help us in the long run. Quest, could you talk about how having Alante Taylor and Bryce Thompson and going against them, uh, how that's been since y'all came from Tennessee and now y'all are here at the same time? Right, uh, I'm always happy to see in the uh, Tennessee, UT guys, you know, Tennessee guys, uh, especially them, because I think I was a junior, when Alon when they came in? No, they came at the same time. I think I was a sophomore junior when they came in. So seeing them come from freshmen and you know, Alante was in the receiver room when he first came to us. And then we moved him over to D B. So just watching him grow, watching Al um Brycey grow. He don't like that, but watching Brycey and Alante grow is just, you know, it's kinda why we play the game, you know having the older guy see a young guy come up and now we're competing on the same team in the NFL, that's what dreams are for. And so, AK. And AK, right. But, you know, that's why I'm very, really proud of them and I'm just excited and hope for the best. You called this defense one of the best that you've gotten the opportunity to go up against the league. Chris Richard has talked about iron sharpening iron. Mm -hmm. How would you describe the advantages of being able to go up against this DB group and this defensive practice? 
Well, I feel like, like, like earlier, I feel like our defense is one of the best in the league. And any, any way we can pick on whether it's physical or mental, because I was asking um, Adebo questions about how he's playing and what, here look, what he's looking at. So just things like that, you know, picking their brain. They know more about their stuff than we do. So same thing, they ask us stuff all the time. When we take this outside release, why we're going this way when they're playing this situation. It's just like iron shocking the iron. They're, we're here for them, they're here for us. Thank you. you mentioned earlier, like learning by asking the other wide receivers a lot of questions. Do you feel like you learn more that way or can you pick up a lot just by playing right next to a guy? Cause you know, in practice y'all are all mm -hmm. doing your own thing. You have your own goals, but what can that tell you, I guess? Uh, I'm more of a visual learner, you know? So if I see it, I'm, when he comes back to the sideline, I'm asking, you know, whether we're watching film, I'm gonna ask him. So whether if we're just sitting here talking and he's trying to explain it to me, I might get it, but I gotta see it. So when you're on the field and it comes up, like um, I ran a route today and I asked Jarvis, I said, what do you think I could have done? What do you see? And he was, in the, he was in the play with me, so he didn't see it. So when we go on the film, we're definitely gonna look at it and watch it. But that's the biggest way I can learn. That's the biggest way that I can get help with. So. As you put together like some pretty big games toward the end of last year, was there something that kind of clicked for you or was it just a you know, matter of, of experience? Just how they're playing. Yeah. Ball come your way, you make a play. That's the best you can do. Control what you can control. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.